Hey guys, in this video, we are building a landing page for our application. Let's roll. Go with Sloba. Okay, and before we start building our landing page, what we need to do is we need to initialize the UI library that we are using in this project. In the previous tutorial, we have installed it, but now we need to go and actually initialize it inside of our repository. So let's head over to ui.chatcn.com and let's head over to the docs. In here, we can open up this installation uh, tab and we can choose what frameworks we want uh, to install it in. So obviously, uh, in our case, it's this Next.js. And now we have a couple of commands. So the first one is to create a project and we already have created a project. So we need to run the CLI command from the second step, which is actually initialize your chat CN. So let's copy this from NPM and now let's head over to our application. Now in Visual Studio Code, let me open up a terminal and I want to open another instance because this one is running the current server. So here I just want to paste in the command that we have just copied on the website npx chat cn ui at latest and init and now in order to initialize our chat cn library we need to answer a couple of questions so which style would you like to use i will set a new york which color would you like to use as a base color so it doesn't matter you can use whatever you want let's say zinc like this would you like to use the css variables yes i do like them and this is essentially all now let's wait for a couple of seconds and this has initialized successfully our chat and UI library. So let's see what we got here. So we got this component JSON file generated. And if you open this file, we can see that these are all the settings that we have choose. So style New York, uh, what is the base color, CSS variables. So you can change and update all of this later on if you change your mind. Apart from that, we have also applied some of the default CSS styles. So let me close this terminal down so we can see if we go to the assets folder, so let me zoom in and in the assets folder or actually sorry in the app folder and if you go to the globals.css, you can see that we have applied some styles from chat CN. So in the root folder, we have added some of the CSS variables, which we can use like primary color, primary foreground. And also we have added uh, dark colors. So this is very useful when you want to implement that theme switching functionality. And also you can see that all of these variables have been applied to our body as like BG background and text foreground. So having this in place, it's very easy later on to implement that theme switching from light to a dark theme. And this is all. So let me close these globals. And now what we can do is let's start building our landing page. So first what I want is I want to update the layout tsx file the extension tsx stands for typescript essentially so if you are using just javascript jsx then you would use dot jsx obviously the first thing that i want to update i want to update the title and description of our landing page so instead of the title create next app what i want to use is i want to type something like job tracker and then instead of using this description let's write something like handle your job application with ease like this and let's save this and this is essentially all what i wanted to change inside of this layout file at the moment so now let's head over to our explorer and what i want to do is i want to update this favicon that we have a default next.js favicon so from the assets folder let's just drag in inside of the app folder and make sure to uh, click on this move and this will replace obviously the default favicon so let's replace it like this and the next thing which I want to do is to update this page.tsx file, which is essentially a page that holds our landing homepage. So let me close the Explorer. And here I want to remove all these default code that we have when we created this Next.js project. Once again, let's add the main tags because this is going to be the main structure of our application. And inside of this main tag, we want to add a header. Inside of this header, we're essentially just gonna place an image, which is going to be a logo of our application. So let's add some classes to our header. So let's add a class name, and we're gonna set the maximum width to be 6XL. Then we wanna set MX Auto, which essentially will centralize the content of this header. So margin left and right are set to auto. Then we wanna set the padding left and right to be four. So this is gonna be the default padding on the smaller devices. We are gonna actually optimize our application for mobile devices from start. And how you write code in Tailwind CSS is first you write code for mobile devices and then you target the larger resolutions. So here, let's say 
Starting from small screens, we want to set the pixel to be left and right to 8. So on the very small, on XS, on the smallest screens, we want to be 4. And starting from small screen, we want to be 8. Okay. And padding on top and the bottom, we want to set to 6, like this. And inside of our header, let's add an image. We can import the image from Next.js. So let's import the image. And here, let's add the source to the logo. And first, we need to import this logo. So on the top, let's import. We can name this however we want it. So import logo and let's import it from the assets folder. So it's in the upper directory. Let's go to the assets and the name is logo.svg like this. And now we just want to provide this import to our image component and we want to add alternative attributes. So let's just say logo. Let's save this and now let's see what we have in our application. Now we can close this chat CN website and we got our logo. And as you can see, it's very large. So let's uh, make it a little bit smaller. So here on the image, let's add a class name and let's set the maximum width to be XS like this. Next below our header, we want to add a new section. So this is going to be a section where we're going to place our title and a description. But before we build the content of our section, let's add some classes to the actual parent. And we can actually copy this layout setup because it's going to be the same. So the maximum width and centralizing the content is going to be the same. And then what we want to do is we want to make the height to be as screen like this. And then we want to move it a little bit on top. So let's add some negative margin. So margin top to 20. Then we want to set this to be as a grid. And inside of this grid, we're going to have the two columns, the left side where we have a text and the right side where we have an image. So starting from large resolution, we want to set the following grid columns. So grid dash calls dash, and we want to set the custom value. So the left column is going to have one fraction and the right column is going to have 600 pixels like this. So this basically is saying the left column is going to take all the space that is left apart from 600 pixels. So we want an image to have a fixed width of 600 pixels and rest of the content can be taken from the description and the title. And also what I want to do is I want to center it. So items dash center like this. Okay. So let's save this. And now inside of our section here, we want to add a div. And inside of this div, we're going to place, as I said, h1 and the description. But below this div, we want to add an image. So this image is going to be on the right side of the screen. So let's add an image. And here we want to import this image for the landing page. So let's import any, and you can call it however you want it, but I'm going to call it as landing image. And let's import it also from the assets folder, which is a one folder up. And we want to access the main.png file. This is how I call it. So now let's add the source attribute and let's just pass the landing image. Also, let's add the alt attribute and let's name it as landing. What also I want to add to our image is I want to hide this image when we are on a small screen. So as I said, when you're writing Tailwind CSS, we want to first target the smaller resolutions. So let's set the hidden for smaller devices and starting from LG resolution, which is large, let's set the display to block like this. So now if I save this and let's head over to our application to see what we have, we have our image on the landing page and let's see if our classes for CSS work. So if you shrink down, you can see lower than large resolution, we're going to lose uh, the image on the landing page. So let's continue and actually build the title and description on this left side. So inside of this div above our image, let's add, as I said, h1 tag and let's add some classes so first of all let's capitalize it and i can use intellisense on mobile devices i want to set the size of this text to be text for excel and starting from medium resolution i want the text to be text dash 7 excel and also let's make it as a bold so font bold and for the text itself let's say effortless job management like this. One additional thing that I want to add inside of this text is I want to highlight this effortless. So what we can do is we can add a span and we can style it differently. So let's add a span and here we can just add a new class name and add a text primary. At the moment when we save this, you're not going to be able to see any differences. So if we head over to our application, 
you can see that all the words are actually the same color. But later on, when we introduce the theme for our application, this is gonna be the purple color. Okay, below our heading, we want to add a paragraph. So let's add paragraph. And inside of this paragraph, let's add a class name. And I wanna increase the height of this text. So let's add a class name of leading dash loose like this. And I wanna set the maximum width to be medium. And let's add some margin on top, so margin top four like this. And for the text itself, I already copied the value. So let me just go and pick up this text like this and let me save it. Okay, so if you go and check now, and now as you can see, we have added this text with this nice big height and we have some separation in between these two texts. Now, before we actually add a button that we need to have, which says read more, we need to use the component from ShadCN, a UI library. So let me actually open up the previous documentation and inside of this component uh, section, we can click on the this button one. So here, what we need to do in order to use any of the components from ShadCN, we need to install that component. So there are two possibilities. You can install it using the CLI or you can install it manually. So essentially what ShadCN does, it copies the component inside of your specific folder in your application. I personally always choose the CLI because this is the fastest way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and copy the npm command and let's just go and install this component inside of our application. So let's open up the terminal and let's just paste in this command, npx chat cn ui latest add button. So this is installing a new button and let's just inspect to see what is this new component that we have generated. So let me close this app folder, asset folder, and as you can see, we have this components folder. Inside of this components folder, we have this UI folder and we have this new component, which is called button.tsx. So what you can see here is that we have bunch of things. So the first one is, let me close this terminal so you can see. The first one is that we have all these different variants of this button. So essentially you can provide these values as attributes and it's going to be styled differently. As you can see, we have these pretty fine styles to every of these variants. So like default, destructive, outline, secondary, and so forth and so forth. And also we have these sizes, which we can use obviously to change the size of our buttons. And at the bottom, we have our button, which is essentially just a component that gets exported here. And that's very simple. So let me close this button. And now we can use this button and import it same way as if we were to write our own button component. So inside of this div tag below our P, we wanna add a button, the one that we just imported from ShadCN. So make sure to import this from add components UI button. And what we want to include here is we want to include a link. So here let's add a link and this link is going to link to our index page. Make sure to import this link. So let's import from next link. And here we can say get started like this. Also, we want to provide what is going to be href or the URL. So we want to create a new page and we're going to call it as add dash job. Now we can add some space between the text and this button. So let's add a class name and let's set the margin top to four like this. And let's go and preview what we have in our application. So I can close this button, chat CN UI, and we can see that we have added this new button. So one thing that I want to add is I wanna hide the button. So if I inspect this, you can see that at the moment we have a button here and as a child of this button we have this anchor tag so what i want to do is i want to remove this button and only render this link so how we can do this is let me just head over to our visual studio code and here we can provide a new attribute so here we can just say as child like this and now when we save this and let's head over and check our application once again and as you can see we only have this link without a button at all but the styles are exactly the same so we still have this button like styles and essentially this is all for this tutorial we have created our landing page this page is going to be slightly different when we add a theme to our chat cn so we're going to add this like default colors which is essentially a purple color which is going to be a primary color and it's going to change the buttons and some elements that we're going to use in order to make it stand out so that's going to happen in the following tutorials i hope you enjoyed it and i see you guys in the next one
And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.